Welcome to FOH. Tell Kenny it's going to be a punch punch review because we're doing Corona Gore this at the moment. And uh, he turns up with a fun location selection number one. Hey, hey look, it was, it was in there. It's not um, easy getting older, is it, Ken? I wouldn't know. Um, I did have a uh, the uh, Juan Lopez um, two recently. Aren't they good? God, it was good. I was staggered. Yeah, you don't Don't normally staggered. I've been telling people for ages. It's my coro. It's what I smoke instead of Cahiba Robusta. I mean, you don't normally put such good cigars in the confessions packet. Um, I won't do that again. (laughs) <laughs> um because i normally bring them i normally bring them home for myself because it would have been a second there, there you go seconds you can have seconds guys that are just superb and that was Absolute a second cracker. Hmm. Yeah, no, they've been really really good so we're gonna do corona gore there's and there's four there's four specific corona gore there's punch punch Juan lopez selection one epi one and mag 46 and, and this little mini mini section the punch punch has been the star of those four so i'm going to start with that so it's all downhill. And, no, it's not downhill. But for me, it's been the last 12 months, it's been the star. It's been the punch, punch. And like I've seen the, I've seen the praises of the P2 and the Juan Lopez Selection 2, et cetera, the punch, punch. I don't know. I smoke a lot more now than I used to. I smoke them at least once a week now, twice a week of late. And they deserve it, yeah? So I wanted you to, to have a crack at this. This is a fairly young one, LGB November 20, but it really doesn't seem to make that much difference. Whether they're 20 or 21s, they seem to be just smoking the house down there. I've talked it up. Let's see whether it performs or not. How's the draw on yours, Ken? Have you? Good. Good. Firm, but not too firm. Just perfect. Just perfect? Yep. How would you describe the aroma of coals? That's um very promising. A bit of clove in there too, isn't there? Rich, yeah, clove, leather. Maybe a touch of pepper or something. It, it's good, mate. I, I I think it's gonna be a good scar. Look, it's not a it's a good wrapper, yeah. Colorado, just Colorado Maduro wrapper, Colorado Rosado wrapper, I should say. It's a lovely bit wrapper. Press. Bit of box press. It's a sexy cigar. I love Corona Gordas. Yeah. Mm, I think it's a great size. I love, love Corona Gordas. We'll be back with you at the end of the first third. First third, Ken. And can I tell you, check that ash on that. I mean, you've you've been, you're smoking more outside than I am, but. that is a tasty cigar, isn't it? Lovely it's sweet core to me. Sweet core. And you know, we hit, we said it had a little bit of clove on the nose, but yep. you can taste a little bit of clove in, in, in this. It, it's, it's still young. Like some other... You do get that sort of young character, not so much Armani in that, but it's still to me, um, it's going to oh, be better in a year or two. Oh, it will be better in a year or two, but you're right. That's sweet, sweet almost stewed, fruity, core um, spice. It's got a nice interlayer spice through it. Mm. And this is exactly like they've been all the last 18 months. Just like this. Yeah. It's quite, it's medium, just over medium bodied. Oh, Yours mine, over medium? No, mine wouldn't be any more than medium at most at the moment. Full flavoured. Lots of flavour. No, yeah, full yeah, flavour. Nothing, not out of balance. It, just that little sort of character in it that's, that's I'm still too young to be smoked sort of thing. But aside from that. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Yep, happy with this. Very, very good. I, I, BBF is one of my go-tos, Mag 46, but I must say this has been edging its way into the Mag 46 realm. So I'm interested with the Mag 46 because I haven't smoked a lot of them. I had a, quite a few boxes in the old days that I smoked a lot of, but I'd always, you know, I had to have at least three or four, five was better, five years was better, and, and they just transformed after four or five years. That was such a better cigar um, than the young ones. So I don't 
yeah. don't disagree. I think I think they evolved beautifully, a bit like PLPC. They evolved really, really well. Man, I, I used to smoke um, in, I smoke a lot of Corona Gordas, but generally Mag Forty Sixes and Epi Ones, and I didn't smoke a lot of Punch Punch and Juan Lopez Selection Ones, and that's just reversed. Now I'm smoking Punch Punch and Juan Lopez Selection Ones, and not so many Mag Forty Sixes and um, and of course, Epi ones. Epi ones have gone through a really tough time the last five years, but they have sort of come back into the realm the last 12, 12 months. But this is tell 10, you what, this is a ago, this is an absolute bolter. Sorry, 10, 15 years ago, this would have been on no one's must have list. No, not even that, not that far back. Only a couple of years ago, they struggled. Hmm. Um, there was no love to them. I don't know what. I don't think I don't think we're I don't think it's a it's definitely not a blend change. I've just someone's I don't know. They're just making them the way they should be made. Because yeah. it tastes like a punch. It tastes exactly what a punch punch should be, which is rich, satisfying, unique. And it's really quite a unique profile. Mm. Yep. We'll be back with you at the end of the second third. Kenny, second, third, another great ash on it's this. A bit. It has some change. It's, yeah. it's got, well, to me, it has a little bit. It's got rid of that um, slightly, slightly, that character I didn't particularly like about being too young. That's gone. It's now, there's a sweet corn character. Um, That's enjoying... interesting. That's sweet, yeah, sweet corn kernel in there. You there you're that? right. Yeah. Dead set right. I hadn't even, I was trying to, Pull a flavour out. That's dead set right. Sweet corn kernel. Kernel. It's been a luscious cigar. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a good cigar. Loving it, loving it, people. Punch, punch. Twenties and twenty ones. Get your hands on. Them. Back at the end of the last third. Kenny, coming to the end of our punch punch it's, experience. It's got hot. Um, aside from that, it's been lovely to go. Yeah, we'll get hot towards the end. It's still relatively young. But I'm going, I'm going 94 on this. I, I found it spectacular. Yeah, 94, 92. It's been a spectacular cigar. I, I can't wait to see where these end up. I like punch with three or five years on them, but I'm struggling to put them away. At this point, I love the size of a Corona Gorilla. They just fit into into what you're doing. Yeah? It's a good size. Yep. No, it's, but... it's so cool, mate. So cool. How's the house going, Ken? I know you're down the coast at the moment, but uh, house is going well. Slowly, very, very slow. We promised a review from out there when you get things sort of settled down. 2020. Next week, back next week, ready to go next week. Well, let's let's get yourself settled a little bit more. Have all you right. found your yeah. camera? No, no. But we can't. We got other things we're working on. It's all good. I told you, I got stolen when we had the break in. Yeah, of course, I forgot to report. Doesn't, that doesn't mean you know insurance and that you can get a new one. Well, the time you pay the excess, <laughs> you're better off. You're better off not reporting it. Unless it's five grand or more, you bet I'm not reporting it. It's all good. Um, Kenny, thank you for that. That's great. I right, look, guys, punch, punch. Smoke them now. Just get in them. They are so, so good. Better a lot of the other stuff that's going around in terms of much higher priced cohibas, etc. Get into these sort of stuff. Excellent. So what what, Kenny, what, are smoking, Sorry? what are you smoking for the Super Bowl? Ooh, Super Bowl. Go Bengals. Um, I've got I've got a Bushido. I think it's Bushido time because it's morning for us. It's not such a big cigar in terms of flight, in terms of body. Yeah, Bushido. I, I'm not drinking on the day, so Bushido and some some good coffees. What are you drinking? Oh, in a bit of limit. I found this. Um, I, I've never seen this other than I, I picked it up somewhere. I've got no idea where I got it from a few years back. Um, Crown jewels. Crown Jewel from Beef Eater. Um, it's actually pretty good gin. Um, and the, uh, the little uh, 
the Doctor Strange Love bit of lemon. Very good. Yes, we can uh, see it. I thought you may have joined the Fat Bastard competition this year. Well, I can't find the scales. <laughs> it is hot. I was doing some cooking the other day and I said, oh, Jesus, I need a freaking colander. Um, so I had to rip through boxes and I found it actually. It surprised me. I was lucky. Um, so that's pretty much how things work. If, if I desperately need something, I start ripping through boxes until I find it. That's the reason, folks. We won't be doing any reviews out there for a while. Let's get them settled in. You know, be great. All right. Thanks, Kenny. I'll still work folks. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.